Hi my lovelies, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm here, it's Valentine's Day and I'm just gonna do a cute get ready with me. Since we're in lockdown, there's not much we can do. We usually go out for Valentine's, I don't know about you guys, but we actually ordered some seafood, so we're gonna have a little dinner at home. So I thought, you know, I'll look a little cute because I'll be looking, <laughs> I'll be looking some type of way on it daily. I know like some people are so iffy about, about Valentine's, like some are just like, whatever, it's just a silly date. Valentine's is every day, blah, blah, blah. To be honest, when you've been in a relationship for 11 years, Valentine's ain't every day. I'm just gonna let you know. When these days come, it's actually kind of special, you know, especially when you've been together for so long. Today's post notification shout out is gonna go to Anna R. So thank you so much for your really sweet comment and for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And if you guys wanna get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. A lot of you noticed the new mic, which makes me happy, you know? You guys can hear the change. I got this new Boyer uh, mic from Amazon. I'll link it in the info box because, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It can be overpowering sometimes when it's really close to me, but you guys definitely saw a difference when I put it on me, so I'm gonna see how this goes. First, I'm gonna use some eye patches because I definitely need some. These are some Star Skin Eye Catcher Smoothing Eye Masks. So they tell, they're, they're like, I have to put it like this, which is so weird to me. This is how you're supposed to put it from the packaging. My camera says low battery, which is very annoying because that means I need to get up and go get the spare. Oh, this one feels really nice. Ah! They're really thin, but because they're thin, like they're sticking really well. It smells really nice too. So I ordered this like, Starbucks tea. This is the hibiscus lemonade tea. It's, it's all right. But I thought I'd go for the pink one, you know, for Valentine's Day. I know I'm cheesy like that, but it's very bitter. <laughs> um, everyone hates it, but you know, I'm gonna drink it because it's not, it's okay. It's like really refreshing, but bitter. I'm gonna use this Thrive Cosmetics eyebrow pencil, which is waterproof in the shade Serena. I'm just gonna lightly fill in the gaps. Just gonna grab some concealer. I always have to put Tarte Shape Tape on my lids for some reason because it just it just makes my eyeshadow look really nice. I'm just grabbing my Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette because I want some of the browns in here, especially like this deep brown here um, and maybe this one too. So I'm just going to use a shade Amber. Honestly, I don't want too much. I don't want it like super, super pigmented. I just want a little bit of it. By the way guys, the other day I watched Greenland, it was so intense, like, I don't know why I never watched it before, but like, it's kind of like those end of the world films. Oh my god, it was really good. It's kind of scary, because I feel like one day this will actually happen. Um, but yeah, I really, really liked the film. I was literally on the edge of my seat. I'm now going to take this shade Oud, which is a dark brown. Bring it out slightly. And then I just really want to wing this out. Yesterday I watched To All The Boys Always And Forever and that was kind of sweet too. It's like an easy watch and I really enjoyed it. Definitely recommend it guys. All these shades are just blending so effortlessly. I'm gonna take some of my NYX glitter glue. Honestly, if you want to intensify your lid shades, like glittery shadows or metallic shadows, this is amazing. So I just put some on the back of my hand and I just grab like a fluffy brush and I'm gonna put it all over my lid. Just where I wanna place like the glitter shade. Today we're going for a bronzy look. So I'm gonna use this Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Shadow in the shade Foil. I've used this so many times, especially when I go on a date. This is like so pretty and I've used it so many times, guys. So I'm just gonna use some, the same brush. I'm just gonna pack this on. Oh 
honestly this this glitter glue stuff just makes any like glittery shadow or metallic shadow look amazing I'm, I'm not being neat I'm just like bringing it really high up even slightly above my crease so like, kind of blending it blending it between the browns so there's no harsh lines look how pretty that is then I'm going to use my Essence Liquid Liner. Oh my god, guys, this is so affordable, but it's so good. This stuff is like bomb. And it's just really easy to apply. I just did that flick so easily. I'm going to put some of my Huda Beauty Legit Lashes mascara before putting my lashes on. My camera is still going. And then we need to curl these lashes first. Oh, it's all starting to come together. Then for lashes, I'm going to use the Eyelaw Dramatic Lashes in 126. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to take these off. Okay, let me go change my battery before it runs out. Clean up this edge here. If we can make it sharp. I'm just gonna use my Fenty Skin Hydrovisor Invisible Moisturizer with SPF 30. This is the refillable. I lost the casing and it's somewhere under the sofa and I need to go get it. <laughs> but this stuff is really good, especially on the makeup. It has a little purple tint at first, but it just easily goes away, which I like. Oh, my mole here is so painful. I don't know why. It doesn't look like a cancerous one. I'm going to use the Revolution Pro Blur Stick. It's just this jumbo stick that looks like this, and it smells like watermelon. And we're just going to put it just here and here. You can already see like how it took that shine away. Not that I want the shine to go in, I like this because it kind of fills in my pores and it's not too drying. Put some of my smile lines, but this stuff's really good. I really like it. I've worn it a couple of times I've done my makeup and I've liked the way my makeup looked on that day, so it's not bad. Then for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Armani Luminous Silk in the shade nine, an oldie but a goodie, guys. I wore this foundation yesterday for a video and it looked really, really good, so. And I'm going to use my Revolution sponge. I'm just going to use the clean bit. I mean, this passes, but my chest is so pale. Oh my god, I need some sun. I really want to book a trip, like, but. I don't feel like now's the right time to travel, in my opinion, for me personally. But because I, I just want peace of mind when I travel. I don't want, I don't want to worry about oh if I test positive or oh what well, if there's a, some new rules in place. Like I just don't like that. I need to travel with peace of mind. So I definitely want to book a little trip when all of this is over. I don't know when that is, to be honest. I don't know when things will get back to normal if they do, or if we'll just have a new normal. I don't know. I just can't imagine everyone in peak times in the morning all like scrunched up in a tube like we used to before, before going to work. Like I just don't see that right now. This foundation is so nice. It's really like dewy, not too dewy, but like skin like dewy. It's not too heavy. Then I'm going to use my uh, Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Sand. Just going to blend this out. By the way, if you're really enjoying this video, make sure to like so it helps you go out. The YouTube algorithm, don't even talk to me about Instagram, but the YouTube algorithm is difficult right now. Um, but yeah, if you can like this video, it definitely helps um, the video reach more people. And you guys know I'm trying to reach 100k. Um, it's definitely a big goal of mine, so I would really, really appreciate the help, guys. Okay, so that's the concealer. I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And to be honest, 
When it comes to powder, I just like to brush it on top of my concealer. Um, I actually did try the Laura Mercier Honey Powder, but because I'm so pale right now, it's not brightening enough, brightening enough for my skin tone right now. I really like it, but it's just not the right shade for me right now. When I get tan in summertime, I'll definitely be reaching out for it more. Um, so now we're gonna go in with some bronzer. I've really been liking the Misguided Beauty Instant Vacay Bronzer Duo in the shade Dark. I don't know, it just blends like butter. To be honest, I just need I just need a little bit of coverage on this. My like, yeah, god, it just doesn't want to go. I've been trying some, I'm being patient with my dermal rolling. Just giving it some time. When I put bronzer on it, it just accentuates that spot and it's so annoying. Do the hairline. Okay, now for blush. I've been loving the NARS Claudette um, blush duo, but the blush in here is such a pretty shade. It comes in this really cute packaging. Um, I haven't tried this shade, although I feel like it could be dark enough for me, even for like blush. But honestly, I just literally grabbed this brush, blush and I just press it on my cheeks. I'm going to put a bit of the bronzer shade on my, just on a little bit around my nose to give it some definition and some colour. I'm also going to use the misguided highlight powder. This is in the shade Golden Hour. Guys, I've been so obsessed with this French toast that I've been making recently with brioche bread. I don't know, I, I might do a video on it soon, but it's honestly the best thing ever. Change some shadow, my lower lashes. Okay, so I just put a quick coat of mascara on my lower lashes. And now I'm going to get my matte cork. My, my cork is like my best friend. It's so good. And then I'm going to use the NYX Lingerie Gloss in the shade Sable. Ooh. Honestly, matte cork and a good gloss is like the best combo. Who doesn't love a juicy, glossy lip? Let's fix this hair. The good thing about when you wave your hair is that, is that it doesn't like get oily easily mm. I think I need some setting spray honestly a good setting spray that I was loving was the Fenty Beauty one but I dropped it earlier today and it literally broke and smashed everywhere I'm so gutted guys I need to get a new one but I'm gonna use the Super Facialist uh, Rose Hydrate spray all right guys this is the final look I really love it oh my god Everything just ties in together. Oh my god, I love this look so much. So yeah, I'm gonna head off. I actually need to go Tesco quickly. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me and happy Valentine's to all of you. And if you're alone during Valentine's Day, honestly, don't make a big deal out of it. I'm sending you big hugs and lots of love. And um, definitely call your loved ones and do maybe like a Netflix movie on Zoom or online or do a bit of baking with your family at home. I know it's difficult during lockdown, you can also be in PJs and watch Netflix all day. Like, just spend the day how you want to spend it, whether that's doing nothing and watching films all day or having a special dinner. Do you, you know? Anyways, I love you guys so much. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next on my channel. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video.